So I uh, I got a little request for a video from a gentleman in England who has PVC uh, going to ABS, and by the sounds of things, it's a couple of 90s together now. The size that he was talking about was four inch. I have three inch here, and I have I have glued a piece of uh, white PVC into ABS just to show. Uh, show how one tool works to remove the piece or the socket and that's what this video is about. There's a couple of different ways that I have done it over the years but this is a little tool it's made by a Raptor and as you can see the smaller section of it fits inside the pipe. It's not overly tight to it there's a little bit of space there but the outer edge of it has uh, these metal teeth. There's only four teeth on it. They're not overly sharp but they do pick away at the plastic. I'm not going to drill this all the way through but this tool will remove um, the PVC from the ABS. I'll just give a quick demo of how it works and we'll move on to the second way. I'll ask my guide off my stock. I'm not too concerned about it. But anyway. So it's just a matter of taking taking the cutter, putting in the drill, and you're basically just going to take it like so. Crank this guy up. As you can see, it slowly cuts it down. Um, it does take a little while to do, and it's not bang on the money. There's a good possibility that the hole may be over um, a little in relationship to the actual socket itself, but it will allow you to take your piece of pipe and put it right into the fitting, glue it into the fitting afterwards. I'll bring it in a little bit more. see it's going into the fitting. Removing the white PVC and you would just take that and glue it right into place. I've used that twice. I re I'm not a huge fan of it but it does work. It's great if your pipe is nice and solid. That little reno going on the garage right now that's why I'm doing this video on the floor. Um, another way, this way I've I've uh, removed pipe from um, sockets for quite some time and I'm just going to buzz this 90 off here. I have it pretty well finished. And this way has worked for me for as long as I can recall. I'm going to grab a couple of shingles here. Slide that underneath there. So, I have the I know that was a 90 I cut off, a fitting 90. I believe that's what you had too, Dave. You had mentioned you had a 90 there. It was a 4 inch. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, if, if this is a short sweep 90, if you have a long sweep 90, you would be able to cut it off at the, at the fitting that it's attached to and attach to this 90 with a Fernco. 
and that's a four inch Fernco and that would just uh, hook over the slide over the end of your 90 and as long as you have an inch there you're good to go so that's something to keep in mind but in the meantime what I've done over the years and the reason I'm using so you can get a little better view of that. So you're just running this uh, blade in the depth of the pipe. I wouldn't fret too much if by chance you cut a little into the fitting. Just a matter of taking some ABS cement and uh, putting in there when you go to insert your uh, insert your pipe into the joint itself. So let's see how this works. Hopefully I'm in deep enough. And I just have my little trusty screwdriver. What I do is I put a rag in here. If I was working in someone's home, actually doing this, I'm going to take the hammer. Give it a few taps like so, and there's my first piece. So we're going to just go to the edge of the pipe. Once you get it started, it tends to uh, tends to come out quite, quite quite well. Believe it or not, I know it's a a time-consuming thing, but every time you hear that snap, that means that it's moved up a little bit further. job somewhere. It wouldn't be bouncing around either. Something you can do if you want, you can actually cut a little section of that away as well. But uh, there's no need to once you've taken that piece out. And I actually popped the, popped the back side of 45 there. Rather strange. Right on the scene. What do you have when you're making a video? So I'm going to come this way. You want to be in the safe side, you can put four, four cuts in at the quarters, but you have to take one piece out to begin with. That's, uh, that's a definite must. I'm 
I'm surprised now that uh, Fernco or one of the companies haven't come out with a coupling that actually slides over the fitting itself. Because they've done that with black iron fittings. There you have it. I know it did split a hair right there, which of course only happens on a video. But uh, now you can take that and glue it right into place. I don't know why I could have the vise fairly tight on it. You just trim that up a little with a knife and that will glue right in there for you. As good as gold. It works every time. Like I said, you want to be in the safe side, cut a little strip out here and uh, just put a few notches along the way just to chip it out. But that works very well, I must say. And that's it. I hope that helps you out there, David, and uh, good luck with your project. Have a great one.